Hello everyone, it's Living the Good Life and I have another, um, let's see, it's an estate sale, thrift store, finds video. <laughs> I had to remember where I went. This is for Friday, um, August 17th. So let's go ahead and get to it. I went to uh, an estate sale and my um, niece had said uh, that these silk scarves were coming back in style and would I go ahead and get her some. So I got this Halston scarf, this Adrian Vitadini, and this um, Oscar De Laurenti scarf. They were $2 a piece plus tax. Then I went to the Thrift Clearance Center. Everything was $1. So I got this cute little blue and white hand-thrown, you can see the pontal mark there. Um, I don't know if this would be considered end of day because it's not more than it's not more than two colors, but it's just a cute little picture, um, and that was a dollar. I got these tiles. I was very hopeful that they would be uh, antique Art Nouveau tiles, but they turn out they are reproductions. Somebody had them for sale for sixteen dollars on eBay. <clears throat> I would be surprised if you could get that much. I paid a dollar a piece, and somebody has put this wood on the back of it and made them into trivets. So I think I'm gonna, when I next have a garage sale, I'm gonna try to sell those, maybe for $2. <laughs> um, I also got these Trap Votive uh, candles. And they, this one is, what does that say? Summer Flowers. And this one is Lily of the Valley. These are absolutely wonderful candles. They don't smell very strong in the box, but when you light them, they have a wonderful smell. I uh, also got these. These are two little individual salts. They do not have any marks on them, but they appear to be Limoges blanks that were shipped over. And, you know, during that time period in the first 20 to 30 years of the 20th century when China painting was a genteel, ladylike craft. Um, somebody has hand painted these and there are two of them and I got those for 50 cents a piece. So a uh, dollar for the pair and these were a dollar for the pair. So just so you know. Um, and then I got two jewelry bags. What a disappointment. Usually I can find something but not so much. I got this. This is a little brooch. Um, there is the mark. It was in one bag with these costume earrings. I got this because I thought there might be a possibility that this is something decent. I couldn't, you know, they're in plastic bags, so you can't really tell. And I thought, well, maybe this is something good, like stone. No, it's not really. So that will get passed on. And then I got this. I could see that this said sterling. So I was hopeful, but I shouldn't have been so hopeful. Uh, there's two chains in here and they're all tangled up. I've got to figure it out. So uh, here was the rest of the junk jewelry that was in there and I'm just going to package these all up like I did for my garage sale back in March. I'd put, I'd put like three or four items of jewelry in a baggie and sell it for a dollar. I mean, they went like hotcakes. I sold 54 bags of jewelry within the first 10 to 15 minutes. All to one person. They were gone. Uh, then I got this. This is a forest green modeled, kind of marbleized Hager USA um, Pottery Company. Uh, Hager went out of business in 2016. They were in East Dundee, Illinois, and they had been in business for 145 years, so you really hate to see a company go out of business, but they just couldn't compete with all the cheap pottery coming in from Asia. Um, so there's that. I spent again a dollar for that. I have looked and looked online. Can't hardly find anything to tell me what that would be worth. So probably not very much. Uh, then the last thing, my star attraction. This is an RS Steeple mold bowl. It's from about 1895 to 1900. It is affiliated with RS Prussia. So this was the earlier um, wares that they were getting and so this is I'm gonna pull it off of here because I just can't get very good color there so this is heavy gold and there is some paint loss here but for eight dollars it was a really good deal so 
here this is considered heavy gold um, and you can see it's got this central floral and then I'm just going to stand up so you can get a better look at it so that is what it looks like here is the mark this is the RS steeple mold so if you see it you will know what it is there are no chips and cracks and like I said this little bit of paint loss here and some rubbing there is pretty much it I have an entire shelf in my china cabinet that is dedicated to this heavy gold and I have several of these but I you know I just had a feeling lately estate sale companies are not really knowing what this is so I get it at a good price never eight dollars <laughs> but um, that was incredibly good so I hope you enjoyed all this I would love to get a comment from you and a thumbs up and I appreciate it so much uh, for you watching my videos Thanks so much. Bye-bye.